name is Meru Fitter. I'm Kenya born and I've had the privilege of living in three different continents, Africa, Asia and Europe. I worked for Coventry City Council for a number of years and in my retirement I um, am a member of Coventry Multi-Faith Forum. I'm the Zoroastrian representative and I'm also a secretary of Positive Images Festival, which is a community-led festival. And within all of this work, have there been any structured learning opportunities like skills workshops that have really helped you in all of your interfaith work? I'm very lucky in that I have lived in Coventry for more than 30 years. The city has presented me ample opportunities for my own development as well as in creating greater awareness about the different communities that live in our uh, city. Right from uh, the time I arrived in Coventry, I was encouraged to attend interfaith meetings and those provided me with the starting point in in-depth um, interfaith understanding. At each of these meetings, I had the good fortune to listen to a practitioner of a faith talk about what it means to be a member of that faith, what, um, uh, how it influences his or her uh, way of life. So each meeting that I attended was like a learning session for me. I also have attended lots of uh, national uh, meetings of the Interfaith Network for the UK. And my hat's off to IFN for the excellent stimulating programs that it has arranged year after year. So that is something that uh, has definitely made me better informed and perhaps has also made me a little better stimulated. Because my job involved me um, um, in work with different faith communities, I thought it wasn't enough for me just to say yes the Sikh faith was founded by Guru Nanak Dev Ji or that Islam was founded by the Prophet uh, of Islam and so on. I felt it was more important for me to know about the practical things that a Sikh, a Muslim does. So my uh, employer was very good and um, uh, actually arranged for me to attend faith awareness sessions. So I attended uh, an Islam awareness session for two days at the Islamic Foundation. I attended some sessions on um, Sikhism, Hinduism and so on. I can't say that I've now become an expert but I acquired a working knowledge mm -hmm. of the different faiths. And it is that working knowledge that helped me tremendously, not only whilst I was doing interfaith work, but also when I was working for the council. Also, during these faith awareness sessions, I was able to understand how a person feels when only negative stories are fed to the media. I know I had heard about Islamophobia, but when a person from that faith told me exactly how he or she felt because uh, the media had reported a very negative event that had happened, I really uh, sympathized with them because I understood how embarrassing it was for them sometimes because they said that they had to more or less apologize for their faith. Um, I was also fortunate enough to attend a faith guiding course. That was a course over about 10 weeks and I must say I benefited tremendously. 
um, two benefits. A, further awareness about different faiths, but it also taught me how to handle group visits. Of course, I had had some experience when I was working, but to listen to a tourist guide and learn some tricks of the trade, that made me a, a better person in that I was able to relate to my visitors in a more positive and healthier way. I was able to use the right body language. So, for example, my tourist guide said, well, when visitors come to your center, it's good to welcome them with your arms outstretched because it conveys a very positive vibe. Well, that is something that I've learned. And I also made sure that I incorporated some of this learning into a walk, a guided walk that I undertook for Heritage Open Days. Okay. Um, I'm fortunate enough to belong to um, Zoroastrian Trust Funds of Europe. I know every um, person feels his faith community is always very well organized, but I can tell you, I'm intensely proud of the way our um, uh, Zoroastrian Trust Funds of Europe is organized. It keeps us well informed. So I pick up further skills and information from the e-newsletters that I receive. It has often arranged seminars and I have picked up some more information through those. So, for example, at one of the seminars, I learned that the first Asian MP in Britain was a Zoroastrian. In fact, the first three Asian MPs were all Zoroastrian. You don't know what it did to my morale. I felt extremely proud and privileged to be a member of the Zoroastrian community. And we are not talking about something that happened 20 or 30 years back. We are talking about something which happened more than a hundred years back. And finally, what other opportunity have I had? The Interfaith Week. I um, had um, uh, the chance to attend Singing for World Peace last year. People from different faith communities sang there. And the good feeling that that event left me with was commentary is diverse. But we here in Coventry know how to think like one, how to feel like one, and more importantly, how to act like one. Mm -hmm.